The Boeing 777X is a game changer in the aviation industry, boasting of very impressive features, specifications, and cutting edge technology. Let's examine the details. The 777X is available in two variants, the 7778 and the 7779. Here are some key specifications. Seats. It has a seating capacity of 395 for the 7778 and 426 for the 779 in a typical two-class configuration. Range. The 777X has a range of 8,745 nautical miles, which is about 16,190 kilometers for the 7778 and 7,285 nautical miles, which is 13,500 kilometers for the 779. This airplane has a length of 232 feet, 6 inches, which is 70.86 meters for the 7778 and 251 feet, 9 inches, that is 76.72 meters for the 779. So, let's talk about its wingspan. The 779 has a wingspan of 235 feet, 5 inches, which is approximately 71.75 meters when extended. On the ground, it's 212 feet, 9 inches, or about 64.85 meters. The 777X features some really advanced avionics. We're talking about touchscreen cockpit displays, which actually consist of five large format Rockwell Collins avionics displays, all with touchscreen technology. That's quite a leap forward for cockpit design. The fly-by-wire system. The 777X uses BAE Systems Advanced Fly-by-Wire Flight Control System, which provides improved handling and reduces pilot workload. It's a game changer for modern aviation. So the 777X boasts of a spacious, wide cabin with a customizable architecture and improved humidity, cleaner air, and smoother ride technology. It also has larger windows for increased natural light. The 777X is powered by the GE9X engines supplied by GE Aviation, and these engines actually provide 5% lower specific fuel consumption than competing engines. Moving on to the service ceiling and speed, the 777X has a service ceiling that's similar to the 777s, 43,100 feet, which is 13,140 meters. Its cruising speed is max 0.84, which is 647 miles per hour, or 1,041 kilometers per hour. Development and variants. The 777X program was launched in November 2013, with the 7778 being the smaller variant, featuring a shorter fuselage and reduced range. The 7779 is the larger variant, with a longer fuselage and increased passenger capacity. And then there's the 7778 freighter, which is a cargo variant, and it can handle a maximum payload capacity of 118 tons. The Boeing 777X is expected to enter commercial service in early 2026, after facing, you know, multiple delays. Lufthansa or Emirates will likely be the first airline to launch its service, since they rank among the largest customers of the 777X. So, the delays in the 777X's entry into service can be attributed to, well, a bunch of factors. These include production issues, engine problems, certification delays, the COVID-19 pandemic, and, of course, striking workers. As for competition, the 777X is going to go head-to-head -head with other wide-body aircraft in the Boeing fleet, like the 787 Dreamliner, as well as Airbus's offerings, including the A350-1000. Here are some key advantages of the 777X. First up, improved fuel efficiency. The 777X is designed to be more fuel efficient than its predecessors, which will definitely help airlines reduce operating costs. Also, this airplane has a longer range than the current 777 models making it ideal for long-haul flights and, you know, advanced cabin features. The 777X offers a more spacious cabin, larger windows and improved humidity control, all of which enhance the passenger experience. Competitive pricing is another big factor. Boeing may offer competitive pricing for the 777X to attract customers ahead of its main rival, Airbus, and stay competitive in the market. Overall, the 777X is really poised to be a very strong competitor in the wide-body aircraft market, offering advanced features, improved efficiency, and a more comfortable passenger experience. The Airbus 
A 350-1000 and Boeing 777X are both top-notch aircraft, but they have differences that set them apart. In terms of competition, the A350-1000 has a slight edge in certain areas. Fuel efficiency and range. The A350-1000 boasts a range of 7,992 nautical miles, while the 777X has a range of 7,290 nautical miles. Additionally, the A350-1000 has a lower fuel burn per seat, making it a more fuel-efficient option. Passenger capacity and comfort. The 777X can accommodate more passengers, with a typical two-class seating capacity of 426, compared to the A350-1000's 369 passengers. However, the A350-1000 offers superior air quality, noise suppression, and cabin pressure, making it a more comfortable ride for passengers. Orders and market share. As of 2024, the A350-1000 had 272 firm orders, while the 777X had 398 orders. However, the A350-1000 has a more diverse customer base, with 20 customers, compared to the 777X's 10 customers. Technological advancements. Both aircraft feature cutting-edge technology, including advanced materials, aerodynamic designs, and efficient engines. The 777X has a unique folding wingtip design, while the A350-1000 features a flapping mechanism to reduce drag. Overall, while both aircraft have their strengths and weaknesses, the A350-1000's fuel efficiency, range, and passenger comfort make it a strong competitor to the 777X. However, the 777X's larger passenger capacity and advanced technology make it a formidable opponent in the market. The Boeing 777X's cruising Mach is around Mach 0 0.85, which is around the same as the Boeing 777-300ER's cruising Mach 0 0.84. At 35,000 feet, the normal cruise speed for the 777X will be around 644 miles per hour, while its top speed is around 652 miles per hour. Mach 0 0.85 is the sweet spot for high cruising wide-body airliners. Going faster than that adds stress to the airframe and, importantly, reduces the aircraft's fuel efficiency. In modern commercial aviation, fuel efficiency and not increased speed is the name of the game. In other words, the 777X's cruise Mach will be typical for modern wide-body commercial aircraft. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A380 also reach Mach 0.85. The Boeing 7478 was the fastest variant of the Jumbo family and had a cruise Mach of Mach 0.855, while fuel efficiency is a leading factor in why commercial aircraft don't fly faster, other reasons include stricter and stricter emissions and noise regulations. As a case in point, the Boeing 767 freighter will soon go out of production as it will no longer meet new emissions regulations.